Well, look at that, guys. Looks like we got another upgrade to the menu with more people now. I'm finally happy to see this. I'm looking forward to when the whole Class 7 is back together again. But anyways, welcome back again to some more Trails of Code Steel 2. So right now, we're currently uh, still on the Watchtower uh, mission, but we currently beat... What's his name? Blue Blanc and... Altina, I believe her name is, and we're gonna continue on from there. So I don't know what's to come after this, but I'm looking forward to it. If anything else, hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you all for the love and support, and let's keep it going. Damn, they're strong. Ha ah, ah. ha! Marvelous. Your taste is so much sweeter than I was expecting. It looks as though they don't intend to be taken without a fight, my lady. Raising threat level appropriately. The white doll fought more ably than the specifications I was informed of suggested as well. <laughs> really? Still, you're connected too, aren't you? Hmm? So, ready to start talking, Altina? Where are Elise and Princess Alfin? There better not be a scratch on them. I don't know the answer to your question. I've yet to be informed of their whereabouts since I delivered them to Lord Rufus Alborea. Wait, Rufus? Isn't that Eusis's brother? It sure is. He's been making quite the name for himself as the Noble Alliance's Chief of Staff. It was largely thanks to his skill that the Imperial Army's armored divisions have become split throughout the country. His sharp mind for politics has played no small part either. Why would he do that? <laughs> Regardless, you two seem to know the answers to many questions we've had regarding matters within the Alliance. And we plan on having you answer each and every one of them once we've seen our operation through. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> How very pitiful. They don't seem to realize that we still hold the upper hand. can't move. Is this shadow weaving? It is but one of many skills I possess. And now each and every one of you are caged birds, powerless to fight back. Uh, how could we have known he could do this? How could I have been so careless? Commencing apprehension of targets. But not to worry. We won't be whisking you away from this land just yet. I wouldn't want to deny you the chance to watch it burn. <sighs> this isn't over yet! Hmm? Reen, wait! You're not doing what I think you're doing, are you? Reen, you don't have to do this! Ha ha! You're as fascinating as always. With the strength of an ogre, you may very well be able to break free of my shadow weaving. Go! Unleash the mystery within yourself! That won't be necessary. What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Were those wires? Welcome back, Sharon. Sharon? How in the world? Is that really you, Sharon? But of course, I've come to collect you, my lady. And I'm relieved to see so many of your classmates are in good health. <laughs> Now, here's a face I wasn't expecting to bump into on foreign soil. This, too, must be the will of the goddess. Nay, perhaps it would be more fitting to think it the guidance of our Grand Master. It's been some time, Enforcer Number Nine. <laughs> I'm afraid it's neither. 
I am a loyal servant of the Reinford family. What more reason do I need to come to Lady Elisa's aid? Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> She's still the same Superman as always. She couldn't have appeared at a better time. Ah, so your love and devotion is for the Reinford family now? What of your love for the Grandmaster? All I'm doing is prioritizing the Reinford family over my duties as a member of Ouroboros. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh huh. I see. I take it you've no intention of following the same path as Joshua and Ren. Huh. That path was closed to me long ago. Still, if you intend to harm those I love in your pursuit of beauty, then I'll show not the slightest mercy in severing your ambitions. <laughs> Talk about scary. Sharon! <laughs> I couldn't be more pleased to hear as much from the severing chains. Very well. Then I shall respond in kind with all that I... What are you all doing down there? No. An Alliance airship. They're back already? So, you think you can infiltrate our watchtower and get away with it, do you? Stay right where you are. You're under arrest! They've brought soul dots too! This isn't good. We're completely surrounded. <sighs> and we were so close to disabling that jammer too. It's time we retreat. Oh, what boorish fools. Still, even if we were to leave, you have nowhere left to run. That's where you're wrong. Oh? Is this what was mentioned in that report? Are you calling Valimar? Oh, oh, is he all ready to go? He should have plenty of mana now. Right. Heed my call. Valimar, Valimar the, the Ashen, Ashen Knight! Knight! An Ovis. Take care of that airship and the soldats. I'll leave everything here to you guys. Rain? Are you seriously gonna jump? Oh, stop! That's dangerous! with the Imperial Army, haven't you? No, we haven't. But we're not going to stand by and let anyone threaten the peace of Nord. Don't get cocky, kid. Back me up from above. May glory shine upon us for defeating that knight and presenting it to Duke Kyan. Yes, sir. Stay aware of what's happening in the sky. If you get caught off guard because you are too busy dealing with the enemies on the ground, it's gonna hurt. I know. We're just going to have to find an opening and take advantage of it. Use your links well. You can now perform unity attacks. Accumulating five Burvy points and unbouncing the enemy will allow you to use a very powerful unity attack. These attacks are performed together with and vary depending on your current link partner. Huh. Alright, uh... Well, I guess I have to take down the standard enemies first, right? I wanna try attacking the bye first. Yeah, oh, Let's go! Gotcha! Time!
Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let me swap out with her blessed arrow and Lord the Flare. Good luck. I'll handle this. All right. What's X arc here? Restores 20 CP. Lord the Flare. Can we attack? Oh, just attack one. All right. Let's save it because I only got that. Well, actually, you know what? Help me out. Wow. Alright, now, same deal. Let's go! Gotcha! That's it! Just a little more! 12,000, okay. Still not bad. It's working! Keep it up! Alright, that's one down. Craps now. What about flame impact? Can't guard counter. Class A downward. I'm going after the guy with the gun. Burn trash. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Finisher. My sword will cleave up in the way. It's working. No problem. Keep it up. Reapers. I am loving this. Seventeen thousand. All right, not bad. Miss. Ah, wait. It doesn't work that way. Uh oh. Do I have enough to... Yes, I do. Bring it on! Miss! Gotcha! Beautiful. Uh-oh. Gotcha! No, thank you. I can do this! What? Oh, recovery. Uh... Charge. Restore. 50% CP. This one's gonna be a problem because I don't know if I should attack the head or the arms. He looks relaxed though. Mm. All right, try arms. Nope. That's it. Just a little more. hurt him though. No thousand, not bad. Like this. I'm gonna have to heal now. You're not out yet. Keep going. I know I'm not. Flame impact. Can't guard. Uh, no, we'll save it. Defend. Bring it on. That's that all. Good job. Uh oh, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna end up using this girl to heal heal me. No, wait, it's her turn. Why can't I do my thingy? Thirteen thousand. All right, well we can try and attack. Go for it. Yeah. Guard. Darn. I can do this. There you go. Now I can actually. Heal him. Hip. That wasn't what I was hoping for, but okay. Alright, uh, what I wanted to do... Miss. 
miss. Oh my god. Time to heal. Time to heal. Okay. I could heal or Morning Moon. Bring it on! I can do this. Spirit self Yes. Heal him. Allow me. Okay, we're good. Woo. There you go. Oh. What were you trying to do, brother? Ah. This one here, his body's open. I feel like that means I shouldn't attack his body. Try his arms. Nope. Okay, that's not the right stance. I can do this. Ah. Uh, hmm. Load the flare. Go for it. May as well. Not bad. All right, we're gonna attack the body. Nope, it's the head. Really? Is the arms? No problem. That's so weird. Nope. Cover. Oh, we can't recover. Ooh, nice. Alright. Bring it on! Gotcha! Let's go! Ooh. Gotcha! Alright. I don't know what to attack. I keep thinking I should attack the arms, but. It's nope. working. Keep it up. Ugh, this is bad. Hey. Gotcha. No problem. Hmm. So fifty percent HP, thirty CP. Allow me. That's good. Attack the head again. Not this time, huh? I can do this. So you're trying to do that again, huh? Bring it on! Gotcha! Alright, we're gonna do can't guard counter, 60% chance on burn. Go for it. Now! Gotcha! That's it! Right! Just a little more! All right. Uh, no. Thirty CP for four hundred. Allow me. Head. Nope. Right. Done now. Oh, can 
this be happening? The victory's mine! Unless you're in the mood for round two. <clears throat> Withdraw! We're abandoning the Watchtower! To the airship! A rendezvous with the forces in Erebonia! Y yes sir! away not quite the original plan but all's well that ends well that's mission complete I guess <laughs> master Reen gave a most impressive performance didn't he I just hope he doesn't make a habit of jumping off of rooftops he may be reckless from time to time but we wouldn't have him any other way I suppose it's time we take our leave Know that I leave with no regrets. I was able to behold the famous Ashen Knight in person, and for that, it was all worthwhile. Do you have any objections, Black Rabbit? Not especially. Being presented the opportunity to adjust the threat levels of multiple targets at once proved beneficial for me as well. Don't move. We have questions, and we know you're the one with the answers. Ha <laughs> ha! The curtains have only just risen for the Erebonian stage. I wonder what incredible fate will befall our actors. I cannot wait to see how each of you play your respective roles. Particularly you, Severing Chains. <laughs> My part in all this has long been so. But feel free to sit among the audience and watch. There is nothing in this world that could cause my love for the Reinford family to sway. Excuse us. Orion, Eric Etlan, may we meet again? <laughs> yeah, totally! And see ya, Sammy! S sammy Please refrain from confusing Clown Soleus. If you would, do pass on my regards to Reen Schwarzer. And now, I bid you adieu! Was exhausting. At least we were able to make it through unscathed. Now that they're gone, we should set about disabling that device. Once that's done, the Highlands should start returning to normality. Yeah, you're a... And just how do you know what we're here for? Oh, I always know what you're thinking, my lady. <laughs> that's our Sharon. Rin reunited with the others and watched as the orbital wave jamming device was disabled successfully. With the jammer now lost, both the Noble Alliance forces and Jaegers remaining in Nord withdrew to Erebonia. As a result, the 3rd Armored Division was able to focus their troops on the Erebonian side of the border as well. Thus, the crisis came to an end and peace began to return to the Highlands. Obtained a new sword from the defeated Spiegel. Valimar can now use the craft Heavenly Slash. Sweet. I think it's safe to say that thanks to your efforts, the immediate danger to our homeland has passed. Now there's no danger, now there's no longer any need for us to leave it behind. You truly have our deepest gratitude. We didn't do all that much, really. Yeah, besides, there's no guarantee the Highlands won't be threatened again. Unfortunately so, the Alliance still has plenty of troops in the Erebonian side of the border to continue their assault. Should Zen their fall, I dare not imagine what could happen. 
Indeed. I think it would be wise to exercise just as much caution as before. Even so, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. No matter how you look at it, you saved my homeland. For that, I couldn't be more proud to call you my friends. Ah, oh, Gaius, it was nothing. You're welcome. But I still don't think we did anything that special. The people of Nord have been like brothers to all of us in Erebonia for centuries now. It's only right that we, lead, we lend them a hand when they need one. Thank you, Reen. What he said. Yep, helping out is what friends do. You guys too, thank you. I feel like I'm going to be saying that for a while yet. Still, while the immediate danger to Nord may have passed, the same can't be said for Erebonia. Unfortunately not. Ruhr's city is entirely under the Alliance's control, and the same is true for most of the country. They have control of everything from the Reinford Building to the Iron Mine, and even the Ruhr Institute of Technology. I feared as much. Hmm, well that explains one thing. There was some jamming- there was some damning evidence in the jamming device that pointed to it being made at the Institute. That makes sense if the place is under the Alliance's control. I'm banged that Schmidt was involved in its development. Sh schmidt As in, THE Professor G. Schmidt? He's certainly supposed to be capable, but are you sure? I met him when I was little while with you, right, Grandfather? That you did. He and I go way back. But I really wish we didn't. He's not an easy guy to like. If you ask me, he was probably involved in the development of the Soldats and that giant airship of theirs too. Hell, Scratch probably. I can't think of a single other engineer alive who could perfect those things outside of him. He must be crazy good if you're the one acknowledging his skills. Sounds like the Alliance is a really capable man making their weapons. Schmidt aside, what brought you here to begin with, Sharon? I thought you went straight back to Ruhr after the war began. I would have thought Mother would be happier if you were there too. <laughs> I'm here because I discovered that you were here, of course. Contrary to what you may think, that was what the Madam Chairman wanted me to do too. She did? Indeed, she asked me to come and assist you and your classmates for the time being. I haven't been able to get in contact with her since I left Ruhr, however. You okay, Elisa? Thanks, Reen, but I'm fine. We're talking about my mother here. I'm sure she's perfectly okay wherever she is. Right now, I need to focus on my own goals. I did promise that I'd find a path of my own to show her, after all. And I'm certain she would be pleased to hear that, my lady. I second that. You're leaving? I am. I don't know when I'll be able to return again, but I will be back. Until then, take care of Lily and Sheeta for me. Oh, and Cheryl too, of course. Sh sure Thank you, guys. I don't want you to go. I want you to stay right here. Stop that, Lily. You're making it harder for me to hold back. You too. I know you'll miss him, but try to show some understanding for your brother. He has something very important he needs to do with his friends. All of this has been a stark reminder to me of how fragile the peace of this land is when one of its neighbors is at war. The threat of being drawn into the conflict may pass for now, but it may not stay that way for long. We can no longer expect to live in peace irrespective of what is happening on the other side of our borders. If I want to protect the peace of this land, I need to stand up and fight for it. Just as our ancestors did during the war all those years ago. Oh. Well said. Prince Dracos himself also first took up arms here in Nord. The warriors of Nord followed suit taking up their spears. To fight for their friend and brother who loved this land as much as they did. I was thinking of that flashback scene too. You want to follow in their footsteps, do you? I do, but that isn't my only reason. During my time as a student of Class 7, Erebonia has grown close to my heart. So, I'm just fighting to protect the home of my friends. I'm fighting to protect what I consider my second home. Wow. Thanks. Don't worry everyone, I'll return safe and unharmed, I promise. I'll also come back more mature and more aware of how I want to live my life after the war comes to an end. So stay safe and wait for me, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'll do everything I can to keep everything here running smoothly while you're away. I will too. I'll be praying for you every day. I... I... Me too. <laughs> May the wind and the guys watch over you while I'm away. Farewell. Their parting words said the time came to leave the land of Nord behind.
Gaius' family happily waved to them until they were out of sight, and swearing silently to return to Nord another day as they entered the spirit path, they started on their journey back to Ymir. <sighs> we're back. Yeah, and we're all in one piece. This is where we fought the huge monster when we came here last time, right? I can't believe we got this far so fast. This is what the spirit path can do. Unbelievable. I had no idea there already existed a means of transportation faster than trains or airships. Well, it's called the spirit path because it's really only intended to be used by spirits. It's not really meant to be used by humans to travel from place to place. We'll all have to be very grateful to Master Valimar for allowing us to do so then. And even more grateful still for saving us from quite a perilous situation at the Watchtower as well. Yeah, he certainly did. Thanks, Balamar. It's only because of you that we were all able to make it back here together. Have a good rest. You've earned it. Acknowledged. Entering inactive state. Do not hesitate to call my name again should the need arise, my Awakener and his friends. Looks like he's asleep. Alright, we should be returning to Emir. We need to let the others know that we're all okay. Woo! I can't wait to see everyone! Am I good to go? We should be able to make it before nightfall. We're here! And <laughs> not a moment too soon with how dark it's become. It's nice to be back here again. Yeah, it's only been a couple of months since we were, here, we were last time. But it feels more like a couple of years. I suppose that just goes to show how much of an impression your mirrors left on me. It's nice to hear you like this place as much as I do. Something feels off though. It's a lot noisier compared to usual. Reen? Thank goodness you're all alright. Hey, Makias. Yeah, we just got back. Looks like you managed to pick up a few folks while you were in Nord. Sure did. It's good to see you again, Toval. Yeah. Yeah, good to see you were doing okay. I can't complain, I guess. Things go fine on your end? That aside, what's the cause of all this commotion? Is there something wrong? That's right, we've got something to tell you, Reen. It's about your father. He's... Oh no. Is something wrong with Dad? No, not at all. On the contrary, he's finally regained consciousness. Oh, really? Yep, he's still got some time before he's up and about again, but this is a big step in the right direction. Come on, let's go back to the mansion. I know you'll be happy to see you. He'll be happy to see you. <laughs> Welcome home, Reen. Ah, and I see your friends are with you too. Hello there. I'm sorry I can't do much more to welcome you, but I'm happy to see you here. Dad. <laughs> Not at all. We're just glad that you're awake. We heard about what happened, sir. It's wonderful to know that you're well enough to talk to us like this. I appreciate your concern. Incidentally, I hear that you, Toval, and Captain Claire, I believe, have been watching over the village in my stead. On behalf of the people of Ymir, I'd like to thank you for all you've done. As this village's lord, I truly could not feel more honored to have your aid. <laughs> oh, no need to thank me. It was just a little something I was doing on the side. The people of Ymir have shown me nothing but kindness during my stay. It's the least I can do to repay that kindness. And I have every intention of keeping up with my patrols to ensure this village sees no further bloodshed. My thanks to both of you. If Ymir could stay out of harm's way, I know that my family could rest easier. I'm aware my injuries have caused both of you plenty of grief, Lucia and Reen. I can only hope you'll forgive me for worrying you. Had I not been so utterly incompetent, at least in Princess Alfin would never have been taken from us to begin with. You know you don't need to apologize. Them being captured isn't your fault, Dad. It never was. What matters is that you pulled through for us that in itself is a miracle. Now you leave everything else to us and focus on recovery. We'll bring them back. I promise. Absolutely. We fully intend to do everything we can to support you. Yeah, we'll bring them back in no time. As long as Class 7 is together, there's nothing we can't do. 
I couldn't agree more. I have every confidence that you'll rescue Lady Elise and Her Highness. Well, aren't you guys just brimming with optimism? Still, we've only got three members of Class 7 to find now, which means that if all three are around Lagram, that's where we'll find Emma. Assuming they stay there, yeah. And then we can finally be together again. I'll be praying to Adios for you. And remember, make the most of the time you have to take a well-earned break. You won't be able to leave tomorrow regardless, yes? That's right, we need to wait for Valimar to finish recovering. That only took about a day last time, and I don't see why it would be any different this time. I admit, a part of me wishes we could leave right away, but we'll just have to sit tight and be patient. I think it'd be for the best anyway. We can double check Ymir's defenses one last time while we wait too. Thank you, Toval. I wish you all well. I leave Elise and Princess Alfin in. Oh, looks like he went back to sleep. He still hasn't got most of his stamina back, I'm afraid. It'll be a little while longer before he's ready to see any of the villagers too. I see. It's not surprising, really. In the meantime, it would be my honor to assist you in any way I can. I'm confident that my skills as a maid will prove to be of use. I thank you. I'd be delighted to take you up on that. And like your father said, take care to rest as much as you can tomorrow. Of course. You should take care not to overwork yourself, please. We're happy to help out however we can. That was how we all we had all made it safely back from Nord. Word of my father's awakening spread throughout the village like wildfire. And while there were still plenty of dark times looming on the horizon, for the first time in a while, the people of Ymir had a reason to smile. Wait, Sharon is in our party too? Oh my god. <gasps> we can use Sharon! With Veen acting as a medium, Elisa and Sharon can now use Overdrive with when linked with one another. Oh, pretty cool. Looks like Dad's staying in bed today. Good. He needs all the rest he can get. I'm glad he's woken up at least, even if he's still got a long way to go until he's fully recovered. I'll bet everyone else has already gone out for the day. I should probably go find something to do too. Gotta make the most of today to get ready for tomorrow. Receive bonding points. Alright guys, on that note, I'm gonna end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we're gonna probably head over to the Grand next and find the last half of our friends. So, if anything else, I'll see you all in the next one.